Good afternoon, it's 12.20. I have been to Larrick and back today already. They looked at the car for about a half hour. Tom drove it a little bit. We figured out what's wrong and uh, I don't have it right now and I won't until Friday. So here's everything I took out of it. Got some stuff for the peak reader, the tune link, an aux cable, flashlight adapter to uh, power outlet. Joe, that's what you were asking about. I paid $13 for this. They're 300 on eBay now. Garage door opener for the house in Silver Lake and a Valentine 1 radar detector. So, now it's time to show you what I get to drive for a couple days. Anybody know what kind of a key that is? Oh yeah! Look at this! We've got a 9 of 01. Is that a 2002 model year? Maybe. Maybe an 01 Mercedes Benz CLK430. Okay. Okay, not bad. It's a V8 under the hood. I'm going to start it up, we'll back it up, show you. It's got the uh, gray leather interior, and this thing's just mint. You can tell it is their cheap, free, couple day, dirty loaner car. Look at the steering wheel in here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mercedes key fits like that. V8 to power. Damn, telephone's not connected. I do not know how to get it to stop telling me that. It's a slush puppy box, auto. Okay, we got no parking sensors. Yeah. I'm not sure what this WS means. It doesn't do anything. W at wheel speed. You know, I, I have no freaking clue what that is. So if anybody knows, tell me. Um, I couldn't get it to tell me the mileage for the first 20 minutes until I like turned it off a couple times and messed with the key. And it has 125,672 miles on it. It does have AMG wheels and they just put it on a new Coney suspension. So that's nice. It doesn't drive terribly. It's got that typical late 90s, early 2000s Mercedes front end look. Yep. That wasn't me. The hood, apparently, pull that and lift. And it is a big V8. I don't know how big it is. So we got four plugs over there. Really quiet belt drive. This whole engine is just quiet. Quieter than BMW engines. Although it is moving. Oh, that's just a plastic cover. Wow, look at the intake manifold. Is it even connected? No. There's the mass airflow sensor and the intake manifold is barely connected to it. That's funny. Not sure what, oh, there's the throttle cable. Okay, it's got brake fluid, it's got new rotors on the front. That's not a bad freeloader car for a couple days. Body's in nice shape, aside from the bumper. I don't see any rust. Don't really see any body damage and it's a convertible although i won't be taking advantage of that does it have an actuator in the back to open nope that would have been too convenient let's see if i can find one trunk where would they put that now let's use this as an opportunity to bash mercedes interior button design okay they're really there's the trunk they're really big they're really clunky it has wow it's got windows there, all these buttons stick, but they all work. They're really delayed. I don't know when you press it, it takes a couple minutes. ESP off, I'm not sure what that means. I have no idea what this big ass red button is. It doesn't do anything. Uh, we got map lights up here, all that works. The headlights don't work though. It was bitching about check lamps. And look at this, this is command from 2000 or something. I like that color better, but you press map and nothing happens, and you go to navigation and it says there's no CD, so I'm guessing the CD is supposed to go in there. Oh, there's a CD in there. Oh, we're going to need some pliers. It's not popping out, but there's a CD in there. This thing has auxiliary in 2002. Look, there's a box input, but it doesn't work. If I put the radio, let's put it on FM. Oh, now it does? Oh, these speakers sounded like shit before. The radio does work. 
I'll have to get the aux cable then and see if I can get the uh, auxiliary to work. Because if I press somewhere, I found an auxiliary button. Man, I don't know. I don't know shit about Mercedes. It's got heated seats. I have no clue what this button is right in the middle there. But let's take a peek in the trunk. It's missing a speaker cover. It's kind of purpley. I don't know what they call this color. I pressed the damn release. Why doesn't that work? You gotta hold it. Yeah, you gotta hold it. Okay. Small trunk, but it's respectably clean. It's got some struts. There's no tool kit. It's an emergency get out if you're a kid and some pervert locks you in here. You got a spare big battery. So somewhere there's got to be a color code. Come on. Okay. Uh, what else? I don't know what that is. Kind of looks like an XM antenna. Maybe that's a GPS antenna. But I'm going to try the aux now. Oh, let's see what headlights are out. Oh, the load beams. The load beams are good. It is the, it's this. That needs a bulb. And I'm not putting it in, but that one's out. I wonder if the brakes work. Uh, yeah, the brakes work. So the daytime running light in the passenger thing doesn't work. That's all right. I'm not sure if it's missing a grill down there or what. Kind of looks unfinished, but we got the aux. I don't know. The speaker sounds like it's working right now. Maybe it's hit and miss. So, all of this stuff in here is such low quality. This is supposed to open. That sounds good. And there's nothing in there. Glove box opens and it's got some miscellaneous bolts in there. Doesn't latch shut. Little glove box. So if we want the power, here's the power, and plug that in. Now how might I go about switching the input to auxiliary? There's CD, FM, there's an empty button that does nothing. FM AM just cycles, CD, no magazine found. I got it on there before, but how? You guys, I'm clueless. That's mute, SVC, service, INF, does nothing. Oh, aux. Oh, yeah. All right. How am I to, what's Z plus? Z plus and Z minus do nothing. Sound, bass. Oh my God, that's funny. All right, now we're in business. Will this shut? Yes. Wireless aux. All right, this thing's an absolute hoot. Um, it's got some some kind of minor clunks and vibrate. You know, it's it's an old car, but otherwise it's really not bad. And we're gonna let this truck go. But oh, look, they even put the typical Mercedes uh, controls on the door. But. Oh, the slush puppy automatic. But it does go. Quite well, actually. I found out what the red button does. Oh my god, it's a convertible. This is too funny. It kind of works. That window is probably supposed to go down more. Hey, it does. Oh, this is hilarious. It's 48 degrees, and I just put the top down in my Mercedes. Look at that! <laughs> All right, I have to go around the block. This is hilarious. It's a Mercedes convertible, a purple Mercedes convertible. Um, I found out what this button does. It's headrests. You can move the headrests up and down. That looks ridiculous. I'm putting them down. All right, I'm gonna go put on my jacket. We're gonna kick the climate control up to 80. Can I turn off auto? I don't want auto on. Get some fans going here. All right, this is this is great.
All right, well, I got the top down. I drove it for a little bit, and then it started raining. I'm like, oh, shit, I hope it works. So I pull over. I'm pulling the button like I did when I put the top down, and it's just going, it's not working. Like, shit, it's raining. It's going to snow. I can't put this car in the garage, and now it, now I can't get the top up. So I looked at it. I'm like, maybe, maybe the button pushes to go up instead of pulling to come down. So I push it. And it, it, it has not pushed in in quite a while. I had to really push it, and then it kind of clicked and felt like it broke, but it didn't, and then it went up. So the top of this thing works pretty well. It just feels like it hasn't been used for quite a while. But I got it up, and we've got that obligatory one Mercedes-Benz wiper in the middle doing its job. Upon further inspection, this thing actually has rear fogs, at least one of them. That one works, that one doesn't. And the front ones, appear to we got one two yeah well i fixed the headlight it was just a loose wire so now both of those work <laughs> you give me a loader car i already cleaned the grease off the door panels clean the inside up for three minutes and i fixed the light yeah they should be paying me to have this loaner car. <laughs> we got the top down. I'm in total fuck boy mode right now, and we're having a blast. It's 50 degrees still. The sun was out. It looks like it's gonna piss, but I don't care. Okay, you know, this is, it's, it's a bit of fun day. I didn't expect to be driving around in a convertible and it's 52 degrees. My shoulders are kind of getting wet from shit splashing in here. Um, I had to pick up some car towels at uh, Walmart, so I did that. Stopped at my grandparents' house, turned up the thermostat since my dad's coming into town. Uh, he's going to be staying there and it's cold. And I may or may not have to pull over and put the top back up on the way home because it's really dark out there. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Ryan. So we're giving Ken a, a, a demo of the Mercedes Benz. All right, so you take that down, flip it, give it a little push up into the position. That's it. Windows automatically go down. No beeps. And then you pull that switch towards you and hold. So if you let go, it stops at any point, I imagine. And then it's done. So do you regret buying an M5? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you should have gotten one of these. These are, I, I don't know what these would can't, go for. Can't be more than the five. Can't be more than like six. Thank you. Yeah. It's got memory seats on the passenger side. Things balling. <laughs> Me and Julio down by, by the, the schoolyard. School Bentley. Bentley. All right, so we showed Ken on the CLK 430 for a little bit, hung out with him, um, watched the Cavaliers play the uh, Charlotte Hornets. That was a good game, win plus 12 down in the first quarter, had a 40-point second quarter and just kept it up between 10 and 25 from then. Uh, it's 1.20. Tomorrow I have to go in a couple minutes earlier. There's an extra credit opportunity if I did the same thing last semester. If we go and smell a bunch of cologne samples and answer a survey about how it makes us feel and what they smell like then we get extra credit points in this business finance class homework it's not too bad i can work through that i've gotten 100 percent on every single one so far um, the exams are going to be a bit more challenging so why not it'll take 20 minutes of my time and uh, doesn't exactly take much brain processing power to do that so i'm going to do that tomorrow morning from 10 30 to 11 class from 11 to 12 15 Back here, I don't know what's going on. Um, I should have the 3.30 back. They told me Friday, so I'm kind of hoping, really, I don't care, anytime on Friday. Uh, we're going to rock with the Mercedes tomorrow and part of the day Friday. Um, it's supposed to snow tomorrow. I'm saying one to three inches, um, kind of a 100% chance of snow all day. So it's got decently new Continental DWS tires on all four points. It should be decent. It's got traction control. ESC, I don't know, electronic stability control or something. Uh, so we're going to have to see how that does. Um, although I'm definitely going to have to be careful. That will be very different than what I'm used to with dedicated snows and four-wheel drive. But 
uh, plenty of tread on the front, so braking and everything should be safe. So that is going to be tomorrow. Today was fun. Um, didn't actually get any academic work done today, as I planned. Uh, so I'm going to have to hit that tomorrow. Picking up my dad from Cleveland Hopkins tomorrow night. Take him down to Silver Lake. I don't know if I'll take the Benz or stop and get the Genesis. That's kind of out of the way, though. So we'll see tomorrow. But I'm going to go up and shower and get to bed. I will talk to you guys tomorrow on Thursday. Good night.